Today we're going to look at how to pot rivet. So you've got your rivets over here, they come in different sizes, and this is your riveter here. This was one of the hand ones, but you can get air powered ones as well. So this is the rivet. This shaft side, that goes into the rivet gun. And what happens is, it pulls this end through to make another head. There's essentially a little ball in here that breaks off. And we can use this to join two pieces of metal together. Once you've selected the rivet that you need, you need to make sure you use the right adapter for the rivet gun. I'm going to use the biggest rivet that I have to stick two pieces of metal together. This obviously, the one installed, is too small, so I need to get one of the bigger ones. So it's going to be this one. So we're now we're going to change this one onto the main head itself. The rivet gun will come with a spanner on the back, usually on the handle here. What we need to do is undo the one we want. Remove the one we don't want. And install the one we do want. Right, we're now ready for the rivet. Now I've got two pieces of scrap metal with holes already drilled in it. Now I'm just going to double check that the rivet is a snug fit in the hole, which it is. So I've just clamped the two pieces of metal together. So let's load the rivet into the gun. So make sure the rivet's all the way in, like so, and then pump the gun. As you can see, it didn't break. So what we'll need to do now, put it all the way in, make sure you're all the way down to the head again, and then pop it again. And there's a pop sound, as it's called a pop gun, or a pop rivet gun. So let's just admire our handiwork. Now the used shaft will just come out the back of the gun. If it doesn't, you can always use a screwdriver and take off the back and extract it that way. Another tip is you might be able just to push it out with the next rivet. My final tip is, when selecting which adapter to use, is you want the smallest one possible that fits your rivet. So obviously these ones are too small. This one fits, but there's a bit of play in it. But this one also fits, and it's snug, so this is why we use this one. A common application of the rivet gun is actually with the window regulators and car doors. So what you'd obviously need to do is drill them out, replace the regulator, and then pop rivet them back in.